Well, this can make you feel like a prisoner in your own car. Let's begin. Now, it's obviously never nice to get a speed and ticket through the post, or let it tell you what a naughty boy you've been. In some cases, for going only a couple of miles an hour over the speed limit, especially if it was because your eyes were paying more attention to what, you know, what's actually happening on the roads rather than your speedometer. I mean, it can happen, can't it? But if this article from the Sun is anything to go by, they could be clamping down on a whole new way. While well, people shouldn't be speeding anyway. Oh, I hate the smug one. The article also says that drivers who get caught speeding have been warned that they may face strict new penalties if they get behind the wheel. The Ministry of Justice is looking into a new technology that could be installed in an electronic tag to spot when an individual is driving. It could mean motorists who are banned for speeding offences or drink driving may face being fitted with ankle tags to indicate if they are behind the wheel. Well, we see them here about more often nowadays, don't we, where people, especially celebrities like Katie Price, just walk free from court despite committing who knows how many speeding or, in her case as well, some other offences. And occasionally, they do seem to get back behind the wheel. So something like this might actually be a deterrent form, especially if it will catch people, and then they could get an even increased sentence. On top, of course, the ban that they've probably got for the offence in the first place. And who knows, you know, some, depending on the offence, of course, might actually see the inside of a prison cell. The work is part of an £18.5 million investment that the Ministry of Justice is making to develop technology that will reduce a driver-related crime, reports the Times. Government officials want the tech to keep tabs on drink driver offenders and those committing serious speeding offences that trigger an automatic ban. This includes motoring violations such as exceeding 100 miles an hour or driving double the speed limit. Which of course sounds like a good idea in essence, doesn't it? But it just makes me wonder how long it will actually be before the requirements will be will become less and less and you'll probably only need one for going a couple miles an hour over the speed limit. Now admittedly that is probably far-fetched but who knows one day I guess you know it probably could happen especially as it seems often nowadays they seem to want us to monitor us more and more and more don't they? Police, courts and probation officers would be able to know whether an offender is complying with the ban rather than relying on random police checks. The proposed tags would use a motion sensor which can detect when the wearer is behind the wheel as well as identifying specific movements such as pressing the clutch, accelerator or brake pedal. And the tech would be able to distinguish these movements from the motion of a car, indicating whether the wearer was the driver or a passenger. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't think Katie Price is going to like that too much, especially by recent court cases. And, you know, it just makes me wonder where this could go next. I mean, are they going to want to eventually put a similar style of tech in cars, thereby negating the, even the need for a speed camera in the first place, and it would just monitor our speed all the time? I mean, who knows? And I guess that brings me on to the Welsh Government, where in this video, they've lowered a certain and speed limit by so much that I guess you could actually be mistaken for curb calling. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.